presumably a clock somewhere is still ticking. <laughs> That's the end of our microphone. This is a messy old race, this one, but it looks it looks to be going though to the far side. The lightning strikes on the far side. Rather complicated race, a loose dog. Here we go. No. She said, this is how you do it. There we go. Thank you, Rachel. Oh, dear. And it's lovely seeing these dogs do things. Peekaboo has now settled very well into the family. He lives also with a... Um... Woo! Where's he gone? <laughs> you say he's being very good and he loves his food. Peekaboo is a total cuddle monster. And it looks like he is. He's having a great fun here with the public. And alongside Claire Todd, Stella's found weapons and thousands of pounds worth of drugs and cash. And he really is a true canine hero. <laughs> That's the end of our microphone. <laughs> a little too over eager. Someone's going to be happy with that. Galloping finish. Oh, no, keep going, keep going. Not back there. Not back there. Found something. I think it was the treats, was it? The found there. They come at the end of the round normally. Great work. Last one, last one, last. Yay! Over we go. Top stuff. Ramesh. And a proper celebration from Ramesh as well. And from Reggie. I have to be sure, I'm not exactly sure of what he's trying to achieve here at the moment, to be perfectly honest with you. We have never seen that sort of style in this uh, main arena at Crufts. Presumably a clock somewhere is still ticking. Oh, look at oh. this. <laughs> Betty the Toy Poodle. Again, I think the arena has just melted. <laughs> Betty's having none of it, though. Far more interesting sniffing at socks. We're got, just leave him alone. He's the agility judge for later on. That's Chris Huckle there. And don't cock your leg on the red carpet. Either, so. that, that has been known to happen before. The rescue centre. And they don't have kennels. The dogs are cared for in the home by Kieran Adams and her family. Or they're placed in foster homes. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, we are. This is more like it. This is what we want from rescue dog agility. I'm just going to enjoy this arena. This is my time to shine. A few laps. Centre of attention. It's really great. We're doing laps. seconds there we are and the winner is and I've got my toy and you're not having it oh yes you are <laughs> and that serious illustration that's what it's about it's repetition and reward and that is the reward for the dog getting that toy the winner of the utility group the no. toy poodle he is glamour and style in our little toy poodle who won the utility group and what can uh, what are uh, <laughs> Oh dear! Oh, yeah, well, no, it's no, number one. No, no standing <laughs> on ceremony here. So there we are, striding. He's making out. his mark on the way in. <laughs> We're counting down now. The last one aces high on the nearest. We focus on the. Oh my goodness, mate! That's a proper fault. That's a proper fault. Unfortunately, that was Icon who went flying across uh, to Diesel's uh, to Diesel on that far side. Smuggled out in a fruit basket found in a, a bombed out building in Syria. Sean and Barry, absolutely brilliant. Uh, she, she's still <laughs> full, of, <laughs> with, full of energy. Just how difficult was it to get her out? Uh, pardon the pun, but it was a minefield. Yeah. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Wait a minute, I think, I don't think Olive's got a seatbelt on. And I think they're exceeding, exceeding the speed limit. Where is police dog Stella when you really need her? Izzy is going to bring Milo in. Now Milo is a Labrador Stafford Cross. What do you think, is she a handler of the future? 
Nearly finished, Milo. Oh, he was doing ever so well. He needs to listen to you as he doesn't he? Let him just finish his little piece. I need to get out of the way before I'm Milo'd. He's not going to have too many difficulties going over these jumps. No, I, I think my money would be on the dog as well, really. So here we go. Joe is with Fergus. Fergus is representing Wood Green again. Come on then, Fergus. Nearly finished the course. That treat is not too far away. One to go. Now we get the toy come You've done what I wanted you to do, there's your reward, you can have it, and he's going to kill that. What is it, is it a chicken? No, it's not. What is it? It's a squeaky chicken. Nothing better than a bit of squeaky chicken. <laughs> well, now I've got it, I'll just stay out of here, thank you. Everyone can watch me play with my chicken. But it looks, it looks to be going, though, to the far side, to lightning strikes on the far side. Rather complicated race, a loose dog as well. We look closely and listen closely to Monica John. Little Jack Russell here, Ollie, with Karen from the Blue Cross. Closes out the group. This is the last of the small dogs. <laughs> He's all over the place, and so he should be. Uh, Ollie and Karen here. Ollie was rehomed from uh, Kimpton Blue Cross when he was around 10 weeks old. <laughs> A wrong way through. Oh, well, it doesn't really matter, does it? When he got to his home, they changed his name to Lockie, then changed it to Ollie. So he's probably a bit confused. <laughs> Some people think he should have stayed as Lockie as he's an absolute handful. Ollie is totally crazy, as you can see. He's having a ball. Loves life and exercise. Well done, the Blue Cross. <laughs> Persevere. First catch your dog. Oh, I love it. Yeah, he'll be out in the collection room. You'll never catch him now. Here we go. Whoa! 